Have you ever had one of those days where your coworkers are cranky or the phone is ringing off the hook? Maybe you have an unending pile of work to do. Maybe you're giving a tarot reading to a client and you start to feel lightheaded. You come home, find the kids are fighting, your spouse wants to know what's for dinner, and a dog has gotten into the trash again. We all go through difficult times in our lives, stressful times, when we can't control what's going on around us. All we can do is try to stay emotionally grounded in order to maintain our physical, mental, and emotional health. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to handle those difficult times so you can control what's going on inside of you when outside of you is not doing so well. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. My goal is to teach you the elements of spirituality that will show you how to find your passion and purpose in life. I'm your host, Lisa Maria. So join me in another session of Spiritually Speaking. Welcome back to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. This is Lisa Maria. I'm your host, and I'm so happy that you joined me again this week. We are going to talk about the importance of grounding. I'm going to give you several different ways that you can keep your energy grounded. So you don't actually lose your mind, literally, when those stressful days are happening. It really helps to stay grounded. So what is grounding? In electricity, a device is grounded when it's connected to the ground. So it allows excess energy to leave the system. Grounding for us means that your consciousness is housed inside of your body as opposed to floating above where you're not aware of what you are physically doing in simple terms it means balancing out the spiritual and physical energy in our body by connecting with the earth we may be emotionally grounded when our energies and emotions move through our grounded body and the excess gets discharged into the ground. Grounding helps you to remove stress, it keeps you centered and focused, and helps you remain in the here and now. Before doing any type of psychic work or opening oneself up to the spiritual world, it's very important to ground and protect yourself. You should make this a daily habit since we're at risk of coming into contact with negative energy that we can absorb from others or the places and spaces around us. According to PsychicReadingsGuide.com, when you're not grounded, you may feel lightheaded, tired, disconnected, dazed, like you're floating and shaky and disoriented. These feelings and sensations can happen when you've got excess energy running through your body from doing energy or spiritual work. There's many ways to ground, but one of my favorites is walking barefoot on the grass or the sand. As you stroll across the yard or beach, picture negative energies leaving your body through your feet going into the earth on the left side, and positive energies are being absorbed by your right foot from the earth. With each step, you clear and cleanse your body of the things that stress you. You can also visualize roots growing from your feet and extending down into the earth. Another one of my favorites is simply lying on the grass or the sand. Your entire body can absorb all of the positive energy from Mother Earth, while the negative can exit through both feet into the soil. Say you're at work and you feel like you need to be grounded more. A simple technique is to let running water pour over your hands. Imagine all the stress and negativity washing down the drain 
And then the cool water is revitalizing you with positive energy. If you aren't near a sink, you could even stamp your feet on the ground or grab a hold of your desk chair with your hands. Feel the solid object under your hands or your feet. Pass the stress into the chair or into the floor while imagining the light from above your head saturating you with positive energy. Trees are wonderful healers too. You can receive a lot of help from the trees. Simply sit under a tree with your back connected to the tree and your bottom connected to the earth. Lean back. Close your eyes and breathe. Be willing to let go of everything painful, both the physical and the mental pain. The tree will heal your pain and remove negative energy from your body. You can hug the tree and transfer your aches and pains. The tree will replace it with healthy energy. Plants and trees are living, breathing things. Planting saplings not only improve the earth by producing more oxygen and eliminating carbon monoxide, but it also connects you to earth. Try doing some gardening. Working with trees and shrubbery improves your moods too. People who enjoy gardening are naturally grounding themselves. Working with the soil and creating living plants, they are also helping Mother Nature replenish. Another way to ground yourself is by swimming or floating in the water. The water will absorb and release energies. Water and sun give us life and refresh and relax us. Sun worshippers get energy from the sun by absorbing it through their body. Some individuals get depressed when there are several days of rain and overcast, and winter can be especially hard on those who thrive on sunshine, me being one of them. Another way to stay grounded is salt baths. Salt baths are wonderful because of their natural healing properties. Combine that with the cleansing properties of water, and you have an amazing and relaxing combination. Sea salt, Hawaiian salt, or Himalayan sea salt are excellent choices. Scents can also help with spiritual grounding. So adding a bit of essential oils into the water can be really nice too. If you feel like you have the energy stuck to you after giving someone a reading, A salt bath is a perfect way to wash the energy off of you. If you don't have a tub, using a salt-based body scrub in the shower works just as well. Simply walking your dog around the neighborhood is another way to ground yourself. It connects you not only with your pet, but with nature too. And it's giving you exercise and fresh air. And it's also giving you the opportunity to interact with your neighbors and make new friends. Certain crystals and stones are great for grounding. You can even use these crystals and lay them on your body during meditation, which is another way that you can ground yourself. You do not have to sit in the lotus position to meditate. You can simply sit in a chair or at your desk, making sure that you sit up straight with both feet flat on the floor and your arms placed on your legs or on the arms of the chair. Breathe in, count one. Hold your breath, count two. Breathe out, count three. Then repeat. If a thought comes to your attention, dismiss it. And start counting again. Don't ignore the thought completely. Just tell it that you will deal with it later. Focus on the feel of your body connecting to the ground or the chair. The rise and fall of your chest. The air entering your nose. 
the muscles throughout your body as they relax. The object is to connect you to the earth and be mindful of your body. Mindfulness is a state of active and open attention to remaining in the present and living in the moment while awakening to each experience. So now I'm going to give you a guided meditation exercise and I'd like to thank Brad Austin, an intuitive meditation teacher who has trained extensively in psychic development. He created this script called Message in a Bottle. I have modified it a bit to fit with the grounding lesson. First, I'd like you to know that if you are driving or operating machinery, do not listen to meditation while you're doing these things because meditation is very relaxing. So you want to find a quiet space where you can be uninterrupted and you know laying down or being in a comfortable chair even on the ground outside somewhere where you won't be interrupted. You might want to light a candle or incense and ask for your angels and guides to surround you and protect you while asking for positive energies to be brought in during your meditative state. So I'd like you to pause this podcast if you are not in the right position at this time to meditate and come back to it later if you can't do it right now of course and if you are in the position then I'd like you to find a comfortable chair a spot on the ground or even lie down on a on the sofa or the bed light some incense and ask for those positive energies to surround you while you're in a meditative state So pause this for a second and go get ready and I'll be here when you get back because the meditation is coming up now. So I'd like you to find a comfortable chair or a spot outside on the grass, on the ground, or even lay down in a bed or on the sofa. Get comfortable somewhere where you won't be interrupted for at least 30 minutes or so. You might want to light some incense and ask for your angels and guides to come and surround you with positive light and protection and to assist you while you're in this meditative state. Start now by visualizing yourself on a beautiful white sanded beach. It's such a beautiful, pleasant, sunny day, but not too hot. And there's a light breeze that you can feel blowing across your face, gently moving through your hair. You feel the sun warming and energizing your skin. Listen to the waves as they gently lap onto the sand, crashing onto the shore. Allow yourself to be at one with nature. You feel completely safe as you are on this white sanded beach. You're alone on this beach. You reach down and remove your shoes and socks placing them on the towel that you're sitting next to on the sand.
the grains of sand feel warm and energizing on your feet as you walk along the beach. You can hear the faint sounds of seagulls in the air, which adds to the tranquility in your atmosphere. You begin walking towards the water and walk along the shore where the water laps up onto the sand. You feel the soft, cool sand and the cooler water covering your feet. The air is fresh and clean with a slight salty scent. Allow any tension in your body to melt away as you walk along the sand. All cares, worries, and stress of your day are gradually melting into the sand and floating out to sea. You take in a slow, deep breath and exhale gently. Again, taking another deep breath in and exhaling slowly. All the elements and life force from nature are restoring your energy levels and giving you a sense of calm and peace. Visualize in your mind any place you may be holding tension in your body. Any aches or pains gradually softening and releasing into the sand. As the water ebbs and flows onto the shore, so do all of your worries and tiredness ebb and flow away. You're feeling so serene and at peace. You are filled with bliss. As a wave comes to shore, you look down and see a bottle by your feet. You reach down and pick up this bottle. And as you hold the smooth glass in your hand, then you see it is sealed with a cork and a note is inside. Loosen the cork, 
and reach in with your fingers to pull out the piece of paper. You unroll the paper and read these words. If you are reading these words, know that you are receiving this message at the right time and place. Know that you are special and loved eternally. I have chosen you to be here at this time and place to help the people and the planet heal. Never doubt or forget how special you truly are. My eternal love, the Great Spirit. Overjoyed with emotion, you feel that someone else should discover this bottle to share the message. So you roll the note back up, place it back into the bottle, and toss it back into the sea. You contemplate the meaning of the Great Spirit words and are washed with complete peace. It's now time to leave this meditation. When you feel ready, gently bring your awareness back into your body and the room that you're lying in. You can give your fingers and toes a wiggle, and when you feel ready, Gently open your eyes, coming back into consciousness, feeling wonderful and grounded. I hope you enjoyed this podcast and this free guided meditation. Next week, we will be talking about psychic shielding. And then... I will begin again with the Angel Art Diaries. So if you haven't listened to part one and two of the Angel Art Diaries, please go back and listen so you understand what I'm talking about and what those messages are. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and give this podcast a thumbs up. Would love your reviews. So please do leave a review because you never know who you can help out there by just leaving one simple review. Thank you, and I will talk to you in the next podcast. Namaste.